Hey guys, it's me Kunal from Bing Commerce. Welcome to one another amazing, interesting video. So guys, in this video, we will talk about what is SPF. Then we will discuss what is DIM. Then we will going to discuss what is DMARC and how you can set up it. So guys, before proceeding further, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe it and also click the bell icon so that you get notified whenever we upload new video. Here in my channel, you will get all digital marketing and email marketing plus all make money videos so please subscribe video in this video we will talk about what is spf or you can say sender policy framework so now guys see as you all know there is one smtp server so with the help of that smtp server we can send emails to our clients or customers so this smtp servers can be amazon sea sendgrid or you can even have your own smtp servers so now guys as you all know this smtp server uses one domain name to send emails to your clients or customers so in my case i have a domain name kunallunari.co.in so my smtp server uses kunallunari.co.in to send emails to my clients or customers so guys suppose my both smtp servers and domain name has good reputation now let's take one scenario when there is one hacker or you can say spammer or a bad person who usually send spammy emails so now this person has started using my domain because he knows that kunalunari.co.in has very good reputation so he has started using my domain name to send his bad email so now guys just imagine he also has very bad smtp server so now he is sending my emails with very bad smtp servers to people so now what will happen my smtp server and my domain name which used to be very good but after this person has started sending spammy emails with my domain name so my domain name and smtp server has started getting bad reputation so now guys here comes the spf rule spf here prevents someone to use your domain name or your smtp server so spf does not allow anyone to use your domain name or you can say your smtp servers to send emails okay so this is the benefit of spf now question arises how you can do that how you can configure spf so guys idea is very easy you must know that every smtp servers have one unique ip address likewise your domain name is also having one unique ip address so what we need to do we simply have to record our smtp server ip address to spf and we also have to record our domain name ip address to spf so after that whatever ip address and domain name ip address we have recorded to spf we have to record that same spf to dns zone configuration and when you will do this your all tasks will be over you will successfully configure your spf records to your dns zone that means your emails will definitely going to get 10 by 10 delivery score your emails will land to your customers inbox for sure so guys you can see the idea is somehow that simple so in this video we will talk about dkim or you can say domain keys identified mail so now guys let's discuss what is dkim and how it helps in email marketing so guys see as you all know there are two people one is email sender and another one is email receiver so as you all know email sender can be a business owner or email marketer and you also know that with the help of smtp servers we can send our emails now if we talk about email receivers so email receivers can be your customers client or anyone now guys see whenever you send email so guys your email goes to your email receiver but this is not the scenario every time sometimes these bad people or you, you can just say them spammer what they do they make changes to your email before email receiver receive this email okay so they make lots of changes in email maybe they change message or anything okay so guys here email receiver will not receive emails exactly what email sender has sent to them because this person has made lots of changes when email sender was sending this email to email receiver 
so ultimately email receiver does not receive the same email which email sender has sent to them because of this person because he has changed message of this email so now guys this creates a problem so here dkim plays very important role it prevent this situation how dkim allows us to secure message so that no one can change the message okay so right now this person is trying to change the message so guys here dkim will not allow anyone to change the message so it is very much important to configure dkim to send emails with 100% delivery score so question arises how you can do that see you need to create two keys one is called as private key and another is called as public key private key and public key it is sort of code okay so you just need to create two code one code will be considered as private key and second code will be called as public key so you need to put private key inside your smtp server and you have to put public key inside your dns zone when you will do that your dkim will be successfully configured to your email marketing system so no one can do these dirty things okay so now see whenever email sender will send message so immediately dkim will come to action and he will see private key and public key so when dkim will find your private key and public key matches with what you have put the private key code inside smtp server and public key inside your dns server so when it will successfully match so dkm will allow your emails to get received to your email receiver if he finds that your private key and public key does not match so it will immediately block that email and won't allow it to go to email receiver so here no one can just change your email okay so if they will try to change your email messages or anything dkm will won't allow this message to go to email receiver so this is the benefit of dkm in email marketing world so guys hope you have understood the idea and it is very so guys in today's video we will talk about one amazing and short interesting simple sweet topic that is dmark so in today's video we will talk about what is dmark and how you can set up dmark so guys now let's understand the full form of dmark so dmark means domain based message authentication reporting and conformance now guys if we talk about dmark in a very simple and easy way as you all know i don't teach complicated stuff so in simple dmark means additional security over spf and dkim so guys dmark is a extra shield that protects spf and dkim so now guys let me give you one simple and sweet scenario so now guys there's one email sender and one is email receiver so guys suppose email sender has sent one email so guys for some reason your spf and dkim is not working and has not verified this email message so that can be a very dangerous thing for email receivers so dmark comes in action and what dmark do it prevents this situation to happen what dmark do dmark immediately rejects or report emails to get delivered if it is not verified by spf and dkim so guys suppose this is the case and if for some reason spf and dkim haven't able to verify this email that dmark will stop or reject or report this email before it delivers to email receiver so idea is that simple now we will talk about how you can set up dmark so guys it is very simple procedure you need to go to easydmark.com okay then you will visit to this website and here you have to simply click on platform now guys here you will see one tool option just click here and here you will find word dmark record generator just simply click here now guys you will come to this page so now guys here you have to fill this information okay it will ask for a policy type you have to put policy type as reject here it will ask for aggregate reporting that means where you want to get your reports okay so suppose for some reason your spf and dcam haven't verified so this dmark will going to send you one message about this problem okay so i have written my support email you can write yours and here you have to put subdomain policy type as reject there are lots of 
complicated things like SPF identifier alignment, DKIM alignment, alignment, report intervals, percentage applied to. So guys, these are the very complicated stuff which involves lots of things. So it is not possible for me to explain these things right now. Okay, you can follow my email marketing tutorials. Just click on iCard. There you will find lots of email marketing videos. There I have taught each and everything in detail. So you simply have to select relax relaxed and put the reporting interval as 86400 and percentage apply to 100 also you write the same email which you have written here okay then just simply click on generate remark record okay so now guys here we have come with one problem no problem guys you simply have to add here mail to hash and then write your email you can also write here as well okay so idea is that simple now click on generate remark record so now guys you can see status is successful you simply have to copy it. so now guys after you will copy the link you simply have to go to your domain name provider too. so in my case i have purchased my domain from godaddy so i will go to my domains area select the domain where you want to put the demand so suppose i put i want to put here so i will click the dns of that domain so guys here it will show lots of records so here you have to click on add just type txt here and put host as underscore dmark done and here you have to put the value which you have copied from here okay so idea is that simple after you will do that just simply click on save so now guys this is what about setting up dmark so it is that simple okay so now guys we have understood what is dmark and how you can set up dmark so guys this is all about today's video if you haven't subscribed or followed us on facebook please follow us we have around 93,000 plus followers on facebook page bing commerce you can also follow bing commerce on instagram bing commerce.official we have around 37,000 plus followers on instagram page also guys if you want all amazing things about email marketing you can also watch my full email marketing playlist where i provide all amazing content regarding email marketing we also teach how to create your own smtp server so that you can send unlimited emails for very cheap so guys this is all about today's video i will see in the next video friends bye bye